<laughs> Ain't nothing like a good Mountain Dew! Hello everyone, this is Mike Trek 95 along with my friend here. Lysin Fan. <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. <laughs> and uh, this is either gonna be a really good or really bad idea. So, um, before, Joker had did a uh, product review of the Double Dare spicy sandwich thing from Arby's when it first came out. <laughs> And so I figured that I would take my spin at a product review, and I figured we can do some more of these down the road. So I happened to hear about this uh, two days ago, just from somebody telling me th through word of mouth that th this new Mountain Dew flavor called Flamin' Hot exists. A couple hours later, uh, another friend of ours uh, shows a picture that it actually exists. And so I said, and I quote, Get me a tw get me a a twelve pack and a bag of hot Cheetos and I'll do a video. We need the one chip challenge. Hey, if this if if this video gets enough attention, I'll I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to do that one anyway. And then uh, the very next day, I find out it is at a nearby Walmart. So after I go to work, I buy the twelve pack and mentally prepare myself for twenty four hours. I mentally prepared myself by getting drunk. <laughs> so first off, the. Uh, I guess the presentation of the box looks very artsy. Yeah, I'll move the bag of chips for now. And the cans, too. I like the art style of the can. Okay. Artistic. Artistically. Since we do movies out like since we do movies ratings out of 10, I figure we can just do these <laughs> out of 5. So I would give this a 5 out of 5 for the art. Yeah, the can looks cool. Yes. I could agree with that. And the box. <laughs> There's even a, a caution sticker on the box that says caution flaming hot taste with a burning lemon turns a lime because there's limes well lemon lime lemon lime citrus whatever so the flavor is do with a blast of heat and citrus what's and other natural flavors what's the rating of the idea of this <clears throat> because i feel like this was just a random idea somebody just decided to pull out of the the dumpster i think i think Somebody spilled hot sauce in the Mountain Dew packing plant, and they rolled with it. <laughs> well, I know that uh, there are a lot of people, mainly kids, uh, around like teenagers and young college kids, maybe high schoolers, drink Mountain Dew with hot Cheetos. I've seen that joked about and seen it in person. But uh, I guess it's now time to see the color of said liquid beverage. Oh, he was about to go straight from the can. Oh, it's like orange. It's orange. I thought it'd be red. Well, like burnt orange. <laughs> color orange. of it. Color of it is very burnt. That just smells like Mountain Dew. I smell the spice. I smell the spice. I've got my Gatorade here ready to go. And I know that after I take this, I have to eat it with some hot Cheetos after this, so... Are you ready? What?! What the mm. fuck?! Well, here it comes. <laughs> this tastes like Mountain Dew to me. Oh man, the, the freaking the oh! God, God, I caught that on camera. The smell, like the the amount of like heat smell coming from it is making my nose burn. Oh, I feel some of the burn. Ah, I'm not actually being burnt by it. My allergies are actually kicking my ass at the same time. It's like, bitch, I'll pour some more in. <laughs> I think the more you drink it, the more you taste the hot. I can just get a little bit now, and like in the back of my throat. Yeah, <laughs> like from what I heard, it's like a lot of sweet, and then you get slammed by hot. But it's like a, a creeping feeling. Yeah, there is a little bit in the back of my throat, but not much. All I know is the amount of like heat aroma I'm getting with my nose. It's making my n nose tingle. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. 
Okay. I was expecting any. something horrid to happen, but there is a little bit, yeah. That's I don't it's know. Like in the back of my throat, that's about it. Like there's a little bit. I don't know if much. I should be disappointed or happy that it's not burning my insides. I think this would be a good mixer for alcohol drinks. Oh, I got carbonated Bloody Mary. Or something. Yeah, give it that extra spice. Uh, what's your opinion on the flavor profile? Honestly, it tastes like Mountain Dew with a with a hint of of spice. I barely even taste the spice. It's more of a, <laughs> at the after a little bit, you can feel the fill it in the back of your throat. Now, here's the question. Should I just eat it straight forward and drink it or dump it in the cup? <laughs> He's like, boy, let me, let, me, let me get one of these and try it. Dip it in there. <laughs> these have more spice than the drink. Hey, uh, dip it. Um. Yeah. Like the dipped side, like was toned down. I'd probably put more spice into the drink by dipping it in there. Probably. Yeah, that didn't do much. I thought this would be more extravagant. <laughs> Well, I think it's I think it's meant to be eaten with hot Cheetos though because it, I feel like the, it tastes better with hot Cheetos. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, like the like it's meant to be as like a a drink with the snack and whatnot. Give you, give you that little bit of extra spice, but I mean, a little drink kick. wise, tastes like Mountain Dew to me. <sighs> Just that slight little. Burn in the back of I, wish I, st I wish I still had my Takis. I'd try it with Takis. <laughs> um, I guess for an overall rating, I'd give this like <clears throat> a 3 out of 5. Because it's like, I can yeah. feel the taste by itself, but it's... The heat's not there. But yeah. with you, but it's like, you need hot Cheetos with it, so that's why I it's like, a 3. I like spicy shit, so maybe I'm a little immune to say. Yeah. I just think this, this beverage is too reliant on hot Cheetos from... It's just what I think. Because yeah. it just it looks like it's meant to be with that. You just get it like a... You know, basically down the whole can and... You just basically get a little... <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. kick in the back of your throat. That's about all you get. Ugh. <sighs> little garnish for your drink thing. <laughs> <laughs> what we should do is get like regular Mountain Dew, take some Flaming Hot Cheetos, just grind them up and mix in the powder. We and should see do if that. it's spicier than this. We should do that. Maybe this is how we die. Uh, well, oh, Give yourself a fucking ulcer. The can looks cool. A 5 out of 5 for the artistic design in the can and the box. A 1 out of 5 for the, just the random, uh, for the idea, because it feels like it just came out of nowhere. Yeah. And a 3 out of 5 for the the, the flavor profile. I mean, I, I would give it maybe a 2 out of 5 on the flavor, because literally to me it just tastes like Mountain Dew. Hey, ain't nothing like a good Mountain Dew! Alright, well I guess we're going to make a part two to this. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. We have re <laughs> retrieved the regular dues. Ah, so we are taking Bison's idea. We, I kind of came to the realization that this was his idea. This, I like to call this how we die.
what we got here is a wild donut fish. They're very rare and very aggressive. <laughs> like this might be. <laughs> oh my God. Will it mix? No fizz over. That looks like death. Do you need a bigger cup? <sighs> no. No, just, just no this is a big enough bowl. <laughs> a bowl? Boat, boat. We don't need a bigger boat. I'm looking at this and... It's like... I'm making mine to a re refined dust. Oh, by the way, we're not sponsored by Mountain Dew. Just so you know. We're just having fun. Yeah, that was a little late. Putting that in there. Yummy. Please don't sue us. <laughs> tis, tis YouTube. Sue him, not me. Uh, I only have 200 subs. Please don't sue me. I'm only a poor wee lad little man. I'm trying to make a poor little living off the internet. It's bleeding through the bag. <laughs> this looks hideous. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh no. It's like flaming hot oatmeal. This was your idea. <laughs> I mean, the munchy part ain't bad. <laughs> Looks disgusting as fuck. So that's your grandma or something like that. <laughs> Quaker Oats presents Mountain Dew flaming hot flavored. Oh, oh man. Yeah. There's your next product. Uh, I think that's refined enough. It looks like tomato soup. Oh, God. This is where I look at the camera and say, I'm sorry. Have you already drank it? No, no, I just took a bite of the stuff on the top. This is, this, I think this is a worse idea. Oh, my God. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. Like, this is like a mofo. That looks terrifying. What is this? Like a, a, a modern day version of the blob? Yeah. Yours literally looks like fucking tomato paste. Guys, this is gonna be my last video. I'm gonna have him edit it and upload it for me. <laughs> Unless he dies too, then I give rights to Krieger. Here. Up close. Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, man. <laughs> what? Ate your soap, Pete. <laughs> just, just gets worse and worse the more it dissolves. <laughs> it's more worse and worse the more you think about it. God, it's like I tried to make it a ref more refined and like not as crumply, but it's gonna be lumpy when I drink it. <laughs> gonna taste like hot curdled milk with the flavor <laughs> it's gonna be lumpy when I drink it <laughs> <laughs> well here's to your idea it is lumpy ah <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Maybe I need a, a Mountain Dew flaming Hot to wash it down. Oh. Mmm. No. 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 It tastes like fucking lemon, lime, and tomatoes. You know, the funny thing is I feel more spice in this than I did the actual. Yeah. This is like drinking... Can't say it tastes better. I, this is like drinking a non-alcoholic. You take out the alcohol and replace it with Mountain Dew. A lumpy Bloody Mary. It's getting worse on the bottom, isn't it? <laughs> Eat your cereal, kids! But ma'am, this isn't cereal. This is like... This is the epitome a fucking heartburn in a cup. No 
anymore. That's the texture. <sighs> it's the soggy ass hot Cheetos in the Mountain Dew. <laughs> Like so lumpy snot. <laughs> Presentation wise, it looks like lumpy milk. Oh, looks like vomit. Please don't say that. Vomit on your sweater. Uh, Does not look like mom's spaghetti. I really hope I don't get sick from this. <laughs> That's why I stopped. <laughs> Oh, God. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> Okay. Give me the real thing. I don't even rig not do that much. So. <sighs> See, I don't like regular flavored Mountain Dew. I like I the, like... Uh, they have that lemonade one that's good. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, well, you know not to do that. Yeah, that was actually worse than actually going and paying six bucks for a 12 pack. Uh, <clears throat> but it's a lot spicier than that. It is, but <laughs> that's what we were going for, is to make it spicy. We didn't care about how it looked. We didn't care about how it tasted. We just wanted to make it spicier. And we accomplished that. I mean, remove the lumps. I think it would taste the same. You would need to, like, put the hot Cheetos you gotta drain it. through like, a uh, sifter. Like, Either drain that or, or blenderize it. Strain it. I'm gonna have to let all that settle before I actually eat some food. Uh... That was... Was it really that bad for you? Oh. For me, it was like initially like finished because I actually finished mine because I'm psychotic. Like the initial like going down it's, was, was uh, what's making me like go ugh, but now I'm just like. Is that texture? Texture is not nice. <laughs> bad texture. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to erase that taste from my mouth. I, I can't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess on that note, um, we'll probably I'll probably get a added clip of Joker trying it, and hopefully his clip's not twenty minutes. <laughs> Can go super in depth. Really. Sorry, I love you, Joker. But uh, if not, then. The, the spice to citrus ratio is... <laughs> He's going to do that. I know he is. That, that, that is our... Uh, I know he is. That's the great thing about conclusion, it. That's our conclusion to this Mountain Dew adventure. Uh, um, do not mix grind it up flaming hot Cheetos. Just, just, just go buy this. Yeah. Again, not sponsored, but go buy this. Trust the experts. We're not experts. It's not as spicy as if you mixed ground up Cheetos, but it tastes way better. It's not lumpy. We just didn't do it right. Oh. It does not mix well. <laughs> in the cup or in your stomach? I'm gonna go get myself baptized. <laughs> I already got baptized in fire right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, this is Mike Check 95, along with... I'm not dead yet. <laughs> License thing. We are setting out and ending this flaming Hot adventure. My god. Lumpy. <laughs>